Today is pickup day for the Jordan 5 Shattered Backboard. Sneakers is calling them Orange Blaze. So we're gonna stick with that. It's just so much easier calling them Shattered Backboards. All right, you guys, so today I'm picking up from a place that I haven't picked up on my vlogs yet, and it is Shoe Palace. So I did the raffle at Shoe Palace. They hit me up. Uh, they were like, hey, you won for the size 11s. You still want them? And I was like, oh yeah. And I also did that same day I did a raffle for the, it was the grade school Jordan 4 Red Thunders. And I was like, hey, what about the, did I win the Red Thunders? And they were like, it got pushed back to December 12th. And they're like, everybody that put in for the raffle is like locked in. So they're not gonna do another raffle. So they're gonna do the raffle of everybody that put in that one time. So I was like, cool. So I'm gonna have to wait for that. And you guys, you know, I'm getting the personals in the men's size 11 for that, hopefully. Okay, so now we're picking up the, the I was gonna call shatter backwards. We'll call them shatter backwards just easier. All right, so we're gonna pick up at Shoe Palace. And you guys, it's so funny because FLX app has been so crazy lately, like airs on top of airs, airs. You guys already know the deal, but like lately it's been more airs than normal. And they even updated their app, but I don't know what's going on with them. Anyways, so I went to confirm. Um, the same mall that has the same mall that has Shoe Palace. They also have a Foot Locker there. They all they have Kids Foot Locker. They have Champs. They have everything there except for Foot Action. And uh, so I try to lock in my pair at Foot Locker, and I hit confirmed, and then it hit, and then it went to like an error page and all that stuff. And every time that I've done that, like when the app is real busy, you I when I hit confirm and then like air, the dust settles and then like you know everybody's off the app and you can finally get in there it like it has it confirmed so this time it's still giving me errors and we're out here talking about the next day that was yesterday so the next day i'm still getting errors when i click on my jordan fives so i'm not even sure if i'm going to be able to pick up that pair i'm still going to go in there and i'm going to see if my name is on a list I'm gonna show them, hey, look, my it's like there's an error, I confirmed it. I did take a screenshot of like that confirm screen, like click here to confirm, but I didn't look at the barcode because it never took me there. So I don't have a screenshot of that. So I don't know if they're gonna let me pick up there. It's not a big deal because these shoes, they're not going for much. I'm keeping my personal size. I like them. I like that cell colorway. I like that orange colorway. So um, we're gonna take a you know a closer look. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. But from the picture so far, I like it. I'm keeping it. I don't know why they're not going so much for resale. I don't understand. But that's another reason that I didn't go crazy with this. Like I didn't tell my wife to put in. And also I didn't put in for sneakers at all today. I did jump on Hibbit and just to see if like sizes loaded up, sizes were definitely loaded up. Like size 14 on up sold out real quick within a couple seconds. And then I kept hitting refresh, refresh. You got size 13, size 12 was there, size 11. All those sizes were there. And so it would have been an easy cop, but I decided not to just because like the resale is not going for much. So I'm not gonna pick up a bunch of these shoes. On Hibbit, they do have a rewards program. So when you spend like $200, sometimes they give you like a $20 uh, to use, like kind of like a gift card for them. And like lately, I had a $30 gift card. I bought myself some Nike shorts for like the gym. I bought the wifey like a Adidas sweater and they were both $15. It equaled up to like a little over $30. So I had to come out the pocket like for $2 for a dress and some Nike shorts. So I was like, you guys, Hibbit is where it's at. You guys gotta check out Hibbit if you haven't already. I know I keep saying it in my videos, but like, you guys, it's so easy to cop there. Like, easy, easy. It's even easier than what it was when I made the video. It's even easier now. So if you guys are having a hard time cop, you guys, I'm here to help you guys cop for retail. That's what I do. And if you guys wanna cop for retail, you gotta get on Hibbit. Okay, so today is kind of cool because I just uh, uploaded a story of all these dunks that I have. I'll show you guys right here if you want to check it out. And uh, you guys, I have all these dunks. A couple people hit me up trying to buy them. So I did sell a panda. So um, if you guys watched my vlog from the other day, they restocked some pandas. The wifey hit on a size 9W. So we're gonna go ahead and sell these to the homie Persistent Soul. So we're gonna check him out. We're gonna, I'll show you guys a little transaction, you know, and then um, and then I'm gonna be off to the mall, which is right there. I'm meeting him at the parking lot of the mall. So we got Shoe Palace there. We got Foot Locker. We're gonna see if we can get a second pair. I don't know, it's not a big deal if I do or if I don't. I already locked in my size 11 at shoe palace all right so let's go get it all right
right, guys, I just made the transaction. My man, Persistent Soul, is, uh, he's gonna do a like story sale, so he's running late. So that's why I couldn't record everything, but he's good peoples. I'm gonna link his, uh, his IG down below. We just made the deal. I charged him 250 for the size nine women's uh, panda. So he went ahead and scooped those up. So now we're inside the mall, you guys. Like I said, we're gonna try to see if Foot Locker, if they honor my win or not. If I'm on the list, then maybe they might. If I'm not, they're definitely not gonna honor it. But let's check out Champs first. Uh, Champs the other day, they had some Jordan 1 low denims in grade school. And when I talked to uh, one of the workers there the other day, they told me that usually they get the grade schools and then like two weeks later they get the men's. So hopefully they get the men's in right now. Then we're going to check out uh, Finish Line as well. So first let's check out Champs. Guys, they have the denims, the Jordan 1 low denims, which I really like. Those are for personal. Uh, but the biggest size was nine and a half. She said like they released to the floor like last Tuesday So what do we talk about five days at least so I am late. I'm on the late train I should have came earlier size nine and a half weren't going for much. They're going for actually lower than uh, Lower than retail. Okay, so now we are headed to finish line I tried to ask about the Jordan fives because I did put in right here for the champs but I did not get selected for whatever reason. Champs has not been showing me any love. So I asked like if they got big stock and she really didn't know. So I was like, oh, okay, on to the next. So let's go to finish line and see what they got. So finish line did have the Bordeaux sixes and they also had the 11 IEs, but uh, they're both bricks. They're not going for much. I'm cool. I have my Bordeaux. I do have a size 11 Bordeaux for right now. It's like I'm leaving them in the closet and seeing what's up with them in a little bit, but uh, I got those chilling on ice. We got kids foot locker here. Every time I go here, they got nothing. So if they have something, I'll show you guys, but if not, we'll go straight to foot locker. guys they almost gave me the shoes but like their manager came out and like she looked on the list and i am on the list and i even showed them my app like every time i click on the fives the next page is like error page and it's only on that one like i could put in for the next drops that are coming out it's just so crazy how like it's just an error on that shoe and she was like she couldn't they couldn't do it they couldn't work with me because like she said that they have to scan the code and then she told me to call flx but you guys never call FLX. They start doing like background checks, looking into you and all that stuff. And uh, like, you know, they'll look into like my wife's account and be like, oh, you got two accounts, but it's my wife's account. And then that's how they'll do and they'll block your whole account. So if I don't pick up the shoe, it's not the biggest deal. I am right now headed to Shoe Palace, but I just thought it was crazy. Like I am on the list. They almost gave it to me, but at the last second, they were like, oh no, you got to, you got to come back tomorrow, they said. So you guys don't come back tomorrow until I steal my shoes, guys. I'm coming back tomorrow and taking my shoes. But like, I, it's just like, guys, don't call FLX, especially if you got two accounts. Never call FLX. They want you. They want you to call them so they can like lock your accounts. I don't know. If you have one account and everything's on the up and up, give them a call. Yeah, if you want to. But uh, I'm okay on giving them a call. She also said like. Give them a call because if they don't give you the code they're not gonna you might get like blacklisted for the next release and i'm like okay well we'll we're gonna check on the next release it is i believe it's the bluebirds well they got some uh, releases in new jersey that's what i was gonna tell you guys you guys they have like the pine green ones they have the royal toll ones a bunch of stuff releasing in new jersey every time they open up a store they usually like have some heat for that store that way like you could go on opening day you could check it out and then you know there's a big line and everybody wants to go so they usually do that for opening days when they open up a foot locker or champs or whatever so they are on champs i am gonna put in for those but uh i don't know if uh, i'm blackballed but I guess that would be a good blackball if it's only for the next one to be blackballed on one that's not even in my area. But like, I think I'm gonna put in for them, seeing if I hit two or more, and then trying to make that flight out there. I think that would be a sick video, but uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes. But the next real release, I guess, would be the Jordan 5 Bluebirds, I believe they're called. They are looking sick. They resemble a UNC, so I know a lot of people are gonna be putting in for them. I wanna say they're in like the high 300 range as of right now. So we'll see closer to the drop to see if like they're going up a little bit or they're going way down. I'm right here in front of Shoe Palace. So let's pick up my shoes and see what else they got.
right, you guys. So I'm walking back into my car. I want to show you guys real quick what they look like. And you guys, I was walking by Finish Line and one of the homies that works at Finish Line, I hadn't seen him in a while, but I saw him and then I was like, I let him know that they had the, the fives. That was my tip that I told you guys from last time. If you're walking by the stores, you could kind of get in good with employees. If like they're sitting on a shelf somewhere and you go back up and you're like, hey, these are sitting if you guys want them. So like I did that at Champs and then I did that at Finish Line because they were sitting on the shelves right there at shoe palace so no wonder why i won the raffle because i guess they had a lot of pairs and then uh they said that the list was very small so i think a lot of people were saying no 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 when they were calling them about the raffle i said yeah because this was a for sure pair for me so i went ahead and locked it down so at finish line i want to tell you guys that like i talked to the guy and he said they only had like 10 pairs so if you guys remember like two videos ago um i said that i put in for these and i did 10 extra entries for a size 11 but guess what i did not hit on those and that was because they got super small like 10 pairs like i don't even know how many 11s they got i didn't ask them but he said 10 pairs total so that is uh not good that's why I, maybe that's why i haven't been hitting whenever um finish line they like kind of like redid their app ever since then i say it's been about like four or five drops i have not hit on uh, this is the only drop that i put in extra entries the other ones i didn't but other people have been hitting with extra entries in different locations not in san diego but different locations all right i just want to get that out the way you guys this shoe is super clean all right you guys we do have a size 11 as you guys can see right here and this is what the box looks like let me turn around we got the red jump man we have the black box and then we have the speckled bottom as you guys can see right there so nothing crazy with the box but you guys these are super super clean you guys i love the orange the orange is so sick we have the speckled shark teeth right here we do have that clear yellow bottom so they're not going to yellow because they're kind of like already that yellowish color so we do have that there you guys we have the mesh up here not only do we got mesh right here we got mesh all the way on top you guys we have the lace lock right here it's clear and it's black in the middle as you guys can see right here we have the orange jump man and this is reflectable um i don't have a flashlight or anything but uh i could show you guys how that looks oh what is this oh we have a i was like what is this it's like a protective um little white paper that we have up here i haven't seen that i guess the, the, it's protected from the lace lock so we're just gonna leave that in there you guys this is a super super clean shoe look at the front like i don't i don't even want to walk in these because like you're gonna definitely see the crease but look at the toe box it just looks super sick all the way in the back we have the black jump man right here and then we have that shattered backboard slash what are they calling it orange blaze that's it right there you guys like this shoe is super clean i don't know why like it's not going for that much this is definitely going in the collection you guys you guys let me know if you guys were able to hit if this shoe is like going in your collection or if it's just going on stock x you guys let me know hope you guys had fun you know joining me today you know like subscribe share all that good stuff and i'll check you guys out in the next video